Hi Virgo, this is Nikki. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Let's get started. Thank you if you've uh, been around for a while and you support me and my channel. I appreciate you so much. If your birthday is today, September the 13th, happy birthday. I've already posted that reading for you. I posted readings for the 11th, the 12th, and today the 13th. That's already up for you. Got healthy choices here. Self-love, self-care, being happier with your love life and everything in your life. Just happy. Just having a healthier life, a healthier mindset, especially when it comes to love, though. It's time for you to move on from unhealthy things, unhealthy people, unhealthy relationships until you receive what you need. But um, it's about you getting to know you all over again in the process of you learning who you truly are, what you truly want. Oh uh, yeah, you're learning and expanding your life. You're transcending. I feel like Spirit is preparing you for your higher self, but also uh, preparing you for your soulmate. Prepare for union, new phase in your life. Higher and higher, moving up. Soul connections, partnerships, so contract your life partner. Okay, preparing for your life partner. And your uh, your life, I'm hearing perhaps your your life partner is preparing for you too. Yes. So it's like you all are ascending, and when you ascend to those higher levels, you know that's when you receive those accolades, those higher level energies around you, the higher level prana coming for you. Virgo. Okay. No, you belong. No, you belong. First, listen, learn, know that you belong to yourself first and foremost, but also you belong in a healthy, happy relationship. Somebody may be having something going on with your eyes. Okay. Maybe you're just tired, haven't slept in a while. Maybe your cornea is scratched or you have um, some sort of allergy or you could just be high. Okay. You could just be high, real red eyes. Like you've been, you know, <laughs> smoking a little, you know. <laughs> Mary Jane. Mary Jane. I think that was Rick James singing that song, Mary Jane. I'll put that in the comments for you to listen to. Need and necessity. Yeah, you need it maybe. If, maybe that's what you need to do. Smoke you a little kush. I don't know. Maybe you need it. Maybe it's necessary for you to get some rest. Okay. Maybe you want to own your own dispensary for someone here. Or maybe you need that for some sort of medicinal purpose. Okay. For you. And it's something that it'll help strengthen your third eye chakra as well. That's what I'm looking at here. So take it how it resonates. Know your fears. What are you afraid of? Love. Proclaiming your, um, I don't know, proclaiming your peace, the peace within, getting your life back after the struggle, after the long struggle. You've been through a lot. There's the red eyes again, okay? You know what? A lot of people could be watching you, though. I have, you know, I'm looking at these eyes here. They're standing out to me. And possibly, you know, at some point, you, you may need glasses, too. Okay, having some issues with your eyes, but the cornea, though, it may be something too with I'm hearing glaucoma for someone, um, but also cataracts. Okay, cataracts, and to love that you're different, you, you stand out with people, amongst people. Uh, I see you meeting someone, it's like you're meeting the opposite, like they say, opposites attract. Um, Okay, I'm hearing Paula Abdul, Opposites of Track. I think she was dancing in the movie with a dog. Well, in the video back in the day. She was with a dog or something, dancing with somebody. I don't know, but uh, I'll put that song in the comments, Opposites of Track, um, Paula Abdul. But you're different. And I feel like when you meet somebody, they're going to be different than what you're used to, but you click with this person so easily. It's like we may be different from each other, but damn, we 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 fit good together, don't we? 
like y'all gonna be shocked like damn i like you and you like me let's do this let's do this okay i just see you you really being happy with somebody i see you getting high with this person you know smoking some kush blunt or the mary jane whatever however you, however you refer to it but you're different but this person makes you feel comfortable at peace you make them feel comfortable and at peace yeah seek your destiny i'm hearing stand up stand up there's that eye again maybe you're getting you some money okay but i do feel like there could be someone watching you like admiring you don't be afraid to take your destiny don't be afraid to go out there and get whatever it is, whatever it is you want however you want it don't be afraid listen don't be afraid of your shadow okay uh, that could be your age, 37. Okay, this could be a new beginning for you. Um, but also that could be the year you were born, 73. Maybe things are getting right for you. Those who were born uh, in 73, share my same birthday, August 29th, 1973. I know it's a couple of them out there. So this is a new beginning. This is you uh, kind of like making yourself known, making it known that, I'm a part of this universe to see me, okay? Not saying that you're going out there and, and wanting people to uh, to um, kind of like, like I'm out here, I'm putting myself out here, I want to be seen, I want to be heard, but also allowing the energy to come come toward you as well. It's like, yeah, I'm out here, I'm, I'm different, but look at me, I, I still look good, I may be different from you, or you may be different from her or him, but damn, okay, I, I, I deserve happiness too, I deserve to be counted too. All right. Just because I'm different, just because you think I'm awkward or the life I live, live or the lifestyle I live is different. You know, you don't want to approach me or you don't know I could be the best thing that ever happened to you. Just give it a try. OK, don't prove yourself to anybody. They'll see. They'll see within just by looking at you, just by how you carry yourself, how you act. OK. Hmm. You know, I'm also hearing something about, you know, um, the big C, you know, how they shut, shut, every, shut everything down. I'm like, be careful with that, too. Um, somebody may choose to start wearing a mask mask again. That's, I don't know how that is for you, but, you know, just watch yourself with that. OK, they're big C. I'm just saying um, you need to let each other go. Uh, that's that's a relationship I feel that you've been in in the past. Um, I, I feel like they still like you or love you. You still have friends. You still want to be friends with them or, or vice versa. But they want to be more than friends, though. They, they don't want it to end. The only reason why this person is asking you to be their friend again, because they want it to work. They still want to be in a relationship with you. OK, um, they don't want um, they don't want it. to. They don't want you away from them. Um I feel like you were totally different for this person, you know, just like you meeting somebody else, you may different, you may be different from this person, but there's something special there. But this person, they realize the difference that you all have now separately, because when you were together, they know that they messed up a lot or they kind of felt like you weren't the one for them because of the way you looked, the way you carried yourself or whatever. Now they realize like, dang, Virgo, I missed that. I missed that unique thing about you. It's too late now. Too late now. You know, I feel you. I, I feel you leaving me behind. Your energy is discorporating yourself from this person because you're no longer equally yoked. You never were. OK, you were supposed you were to learn something from them and they were supposed to learn something from you. And this is going to help you in your net. I'm hearing this is going to help you immensely in your next connection. OK, so move on and, and just be happy. You got a soulmate coming into your life. You're making healthier choices in general healthier choices and your life is going to loosen the, the load and help you raise those vibrations. Oh, you know, uh, forgiving and learning. See, I just said you were going to be learning something. You are learning something as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. This is you getting to know you all over again, accepting that person, you know, so you could, Verbal, verbally accept this person's 
apologies for what they've done to you or the, the breakup of your relationship, the downfall of the relationship, because I feel like somebody downplayed it here. They didn't really uh, believe that what was going on will actually happen until it was it was over with. You know, at that point, you got to say enough is enough. I'm done with this. OK, you're preparing for soulmates. You know, this guy or this girl wants to come back to reconciliate. Um, but you're beyond that. But why Why are you beyond this? Because you don't want any petty relationships. You don't want to reconciliate with somebody from your past because it may not work out for you anyway. OK, now, if it was written in the stars for you, of course, you'll get back together because what's for you was for you. But this particular person may not be. OK, but they're definitely going to try to re reconnect with you by any means necessary. This is the one you got your soulmate coming here. It's it's um, it's here for you twice. This man on this woman is coming into your life. A soul connection, a, a connection that is written in the stars, pretty much, you know, um, this is somebody who you connect to on a, on a on a different level, Virgo, a special level. You know, um, it's like you give each other what you need in order to grow, in order to survive. You know, um, it's like you're this person's drink of water in in, a, in the high desert in noonday when it's the hottest, the hottest that it could be outside. They take a sip of you and they're feeling oh so oh so gravy oh so good. Okay, you get this person good vibes, good feelings, good emotions. Okay. Okay, I get so emotional. Um, Whitney Houston, <laughs> Whitney Houston, I get so emotional. I don't know why I wanted to say Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> so maybe Whoopi Goldberg got something going on. Maybe she just met a lo the love of her life or somebody's her Whoopi Goldberg. I don't know why. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, Virgo. Love, love, love. You're going to have chemistry with this person. Um, but but if you don't release this ex, if you don't move on away from this person's ex and, and hoping that it'll get better, you're going to lose out on this opportunity. You still may have feelings for this ex and that's fine. And you don't have to step into another relationship if that's not what you're ready for. OK, but but you're going to have a strong magnetic attraction, some, some sort of pull pulling you two together, gravitating toward this person, but you're going to miss out on it if you don't release this person. They may text you. They be, may be sending you pictures or today would have been our anniversary or happy birthday, Virgo. Remember this happened on Christmas or remember the funny thing that happened on the way to the forum, whatever. Okay. So you just got to understand what you want in your life. All right. For yourself from no, from relationships, that no longer serve the, your highest good, your highest goals in life. If this person is unequipped or unprepared or just doesn't want to give a F about what you want, move on. You know, everybody deserves to be happy. I'm hearing a song. Oh, Lord. I can't think of a song I'm hearing. Yeah, we have be without malice, challenge your perception. It's like if you if if you saw somebody doing some doing some wrong to you at some point in a relationship, or no matter what it was, you physically saw this person doing it and they lied to you and told you that you saw wrong, that wasn't me, I didn't do this, but I was looking at you. OK, just just, you know, move on with it. don't try to get this person back. You know, let karma take the wheel and, and let karma handle the situation for you. Don't even worry about it because that person will lie to you and he's right in your face and you, they'll never, ever tell the truth. But you saw them and they'll make it seem like you the one that thought like you the one is crazy or something like that. You know, want to manipulate the situation. Let it go. Respect your boundaries. People need to respect you. Respect your boundaries. Don't let anybody as close to you as they want to be if they're not if they don't deserve to be in your energy. If, if they're not deserving of your presence, your mere presence, then they don't need to be close to you. They need to stay the fuck back. OK. Is that number 33? Maybe that's your age. 33. I keep hearing a song, but I cannot place it. Hold on. Okay. 
I know what the song is now that I was getting in my head. I don't know why I'm hearing Nelly hot in here. <laughs> so I'll put that song in the comments if you all have never heard it. I, I, I'm hearing that in my head. I'm like, what is that song? This is driving me crazy, but I found out what it was. Hot in here. So I'll put that in the comments. So respect your boundaries, um, Virgo, please. Uh, and don't try to get back at somebody for doing you wrong. Just let spirit handle it. Because look, I got be without malice and see the signs. If you know that that you can't uh, deal with a person and what they do, and and you caught them up in a lie, or if they piss you off, <clears throat> excuse me, they piss you off or hurt you so much that you want to retaliate in your own way, uh, uh-uh, let it go. I got, I got be without malice, okay? And I have seen the signs, and and know your know your signs, know know what pisses you off to the tenth power. If if something or somebody pisses you off to the tenth power, walk away. Don't don't try to get them back. Don't wish them no harm because what goes around comes around. God don't like ugly. You better believe that. Let it go. Okay. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so I saw how I'm here. I want to take my clothes off. A new day, a, a new day dawns. Okay, you do what you're supposed to do on your end and and let this person get caught up in their own mess and anxiety and, and leave you out of it. A new day dawns. You get you'll get yours. A new beginning is coming for you, a new start. Okay. This is all about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just heard that this new person um that's coming into your life. I don't care if it's the male or female, they like for you to, to dig your, your nails in their back. <laughs> Okay, they like a little pain when it when it when 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 it's time you know to get it on. They like a little pain with pleasure, mm -hmm. pleasure and pain. They like it. Maybe you do too, Virgo. Trust trust in magic. Okay, trust in ma trust trust in the magic within. And I have here know your power, know your power, Virgo, and know your value. Know your truth. What is what is it that you want? How do you want it? How do you what? How do you what? How do you okay? How do you want it? Okay. Um, Tupac. Tupac. How do you want it, Virgo? You got to find the yin to your yang. Okay, and actually just wait for this person to come in. But I feel like this is going to be a very very powerful union for you. Um, it's like you all are going to give each other what you need to thrive and grow in your love life. Um, I think that this is going to be like heckle and jekyll, but y'all y'all click like a mug. You know, it's just going to be different in this relationship. But sometimes different is for the best. OK, mm -hmm. um, yeah, don't don't wish harm on anybody else. You know, like I said, karma, karma is going to eat this person up as well as guilt because they're not going to find another person like you ever. OK, ever. Unless you hook up with another Virgo. I've never been with another Virgo, but I can imagine, you know, I've never been with a Virgo man, but I can just imagine <laughs> what it's like in that bedroom. I would love to be a fly on a wall or participate in a bedroom with, with somebody, a man who's a Virgo. Because I heard that it's, you know, maybe you may think differently, but you were born to create. Not only were you, not only were you were born to create Virgo, you were born to shine. Okay. You were born to shine. Maybe you have a tattoo of a dragon. And I'm not going to put it in the comments. You can look it up. Um, Andrea Buccelli, he, he has this song. I think it's Shine or Born to Shine or something like that. That's a beautiful song. I see pregnancy. Embrace the feminine. Reveal your truth. Somebody might be telling you they're pregnant. It may not be you. You're probably wondering if, if somebody's pregnant. Uh, uh, yeah. They probably are. Or I'm picking at, I'm picking at my sister to want a stomach. She looked like she pregnant. Or my cousin or some young girl pregnant. Okay. That um it's gonna shock a lot of people. Or if you've been trying to get pregnant for a while, you possibly will be, or or you know, finally drop the right egg in the right place at the right time. Found out you're pregnant. But maybe you're keeping in the secrets from someone. But this could also be a uh gender reveal. Hmm. Okay, if it's a gender, a gender reveal, then I'm not going to tell you. But you get the gist of it. You may be having a Leo. I have to share your thoughts. Somebody wants to tell you a secret. They, they, it's, it's, it's hot in here. You know, that's what they're saying. I took off all my clothes and now I'm pregnant. 
<laughs> so, yeah, it could be a teen, a young mom pregnant. Okay. Um, that's possibly a secret, but not for long because stuff that you do in the light, I'm sorry, in the dark, gonna always come out in the light nine months later. Okay. Talk to you later.